Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we're going to discuss 100 inbound content ideas. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Michelou Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return, I personally use and highly recommend the services of Jeffrey Ressler CPA, whose phone number is 561 237 Five two six four. That number again is five six one two three seven five two six four. Thank you very much. Remember, you can always look to the audio video description of this post for names, phone numbers, and links to references made during the program, or you can get them by visiting cdecker.com, chaddecker.com, or ezinegenerator.com anytime as well. Broadcasting from the Great North Woods Lake region of Southern Maine. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to our Internet Marketing Pro and EasyGenerator.com podcast show. Our shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and preeminent professional internet marketers. Thank you for tuning into our show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a few quick announcements before we get started. Like I always begin my shows, I really like to show my personal appreciation for all the feedback that we've been getting from you all. What a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continue continually think of the next subject matter that we can explore together. We also are very excited about you helping us get more subscribers by subscribing your tell yourself on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, and many other syndicates. If you like our show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to our show. Be sure to visit ezinegenerator.com and become a free member of our highly resourceful total online marketing presence community. You will gain instant insight to ex and exclusive access to thousands of over-the-shoulder how-to training videos, articles, RSS feeds syndicated of over 500 resource websites relating to topics like analytics, content, email marketing, mobile marketing, search engine optimization and management, social network marketing and management, traffic, articles, white papers, podcast interviews of preeminent leaders, current events, and much, much more. Finally, be sure to review our past archive shows on iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, YouTube, and Zoom. Now, let's get down to business. All right, well, today we are going to begin a uh, five-part series on 100 inbound marketing content ideas. So many people uh, definitely need a lesson on uh, what types of uh, quality content they can put out there that would attract more people to gain more attention for themselves or whatever it is that they are potentially maybe selling or uh, building a community, you know, getting more attention as far as contributing to community and eventually looking like you're a rock star because you put good stuff out there instead of just junk. And so many people are guilty of putting out just junk that I see. I'm not really interested in whether or not you tied your shoe or whether you're feeling ill. You know, everybody, when they're looking at things, they want to know what's in it for them. And that's kind of why I'm going to do this 100 inbound marketing content ideas series, which I intend to break up in uh, five sections so that it'll be 20 ideas per section. And uh, in I'd say what we're going to do is I'm going to begin by... Uh, Talking about content creation is at the core of, you know, every inbound marketer's job. From tweets to blog posts to Facebook page wall posts, there's a lot of copy, messaging, and engagement to push out to your audience. But this is why the inbound marketer's role is one that requires so much creativity. Content has to be timely and accurate and relevant, thoughtful, unpredictable, informative, and even funny. The same old content day in and day out can't get stale, you know, because if it does, you know, you'll lose the community engagement that you are after in the first place. The question is, where do you come up with fresh ways to accomplish that in seven days a week? You know, how do you keep coming up with stuff that is fresh and interesting time after time? Well, you know, I find it, even with all my experience, difficult, you know, in doing even these shows. 
you know, some shows are absolutely explosive uh, and carry and just get out there because people really like them. And, and other shows uh, that I would think that people would be interested in um, are not complete duds, but just don't quite get that kind of exposure as maybe some of the top shows do. And it's kind of a, a guessing game for me to figure out what it is that my listeners really want to hear and who's listening at the time. And it will get something that really excites them and obviously it will cause them to share and the next person to share. And it becomes, you know, moving from one generation to another. So, you know, if you want to give me some ideas, here's your opportunity to put something, you know, post something as far as the comments, uh, anywhere, wherever this is syndicated. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it getting some kind of consensus of what is it that you really want me to cover uh, and share with you with all the expertise that I have. So that is a big question for everyone. And, and what do you do when you are uh, just, you know, jump starting on the social presence, say on Twitter or Facebook, you know, uh, for the first time, or what should your company be blogging about? This, you know, I'd say this is a list of ideas that is meant to inspire the content that you create for your community. It's broad and generic and focused, and it's not meant to focus too strictly on, you know, the technology that helps you carry out these ideas and offer something to, you know, everyone. It's hopefully a brainstorming session that will help inspire you to come up and think of some fresh ideas on your own. So, you know, all I can do is become your muse here by covering these 100 content ideas. And believe me, um, they are really good and they are really are creative and they've given me uh, inspiration at time to time. I just got to go through them and refresh my memory. And then all of a sudden something that I see within the next day or so will be like, yeah, that's the one I need to pick because of the fact that I refreshed my idea of, uh, you know, these 100 ideas of what can, you know, create great content for my listening base. So let's cover the top 20, or not so much top 20, but the first 20 blogging content ideas. The first, you know, great type of content to use is multimedia and visuals. I'd say number one, you know, do a screencast with Screener. And Screener is spelled, you know, S-C-R-E-E-N-R of your product and share it on your blog. That's pretty simple. Most of us know how to do that. Number two, show a step-by-step -step guide on how to do something in a screencast, a how-to video, or show the steps in a series of photos. That's pretty simple and easy. Many of us already do that anyway. Just, you know, work on a good script, good content, and think it through before you actually just do it. Don't shoot from the hip. There's nothing better than a plan where you have you know, an idea of leading to a, a certain focus point instead of just kind of going all over the place. So keep that in mind too. Number three, create a music video for your company and post it on the blog. Number four, share a cartoon or create an original one. Number five, write a how-to article, give instructions with screenshots or photos on the steps someone needs to take to do something. It's not bad. Number six, point out common mistakes in your industry and offer solutions on how to fix or avoid them. Number seven, offer a list of benefits for doing something. Number eight, share a list of some things to avoid. Number nine, relate your how-to content to a current event or a celebrity. Here's an example. Five lessons from Lady Gaga. <laughs> Yeah, right. Or what the election teaches us about blank. So, you know, I've seen the one five blank lessons from Lady Gaga used before on a number of people who do podcasts. And from what I understand, those shows actually did pretty good because whether you know it or not, Lady Gaga's got the most power powerful social presence on the Internet, hands down. So uh, it's very interesting where the society is going. But anyway, let's get back to uh, the using it, maybe existing content. Number 10, take the contrarian position. Find someone else's article that you agree or disagree with. Introduce your blog post with what you specifically agree or disagree with and support your argument with a few concise points. That's definitely a way to shake it up, you know? Number 11, do a weekly or daily links roundup of relevant news for your community. 
that's pretty self-evident because a lot of people do that. And, you know, if you want to aggregate news of other people's content, um, sometimes, you know, if people like your choices, uh, they start relating to you, they can become your fan too. And they'll really pay attention to you all day because it's like, uh, you know, outsourcing someone to pick headlines and bylines uh, and do the work for you instead of you having to find the news yourself. I mean, we're all lazy, so that works pretty well. I've seen that being used quite a bit. Number 12, find tips in other content. Create a list of those tips and give links to those articles as the sources. Number 13, share an excerpt from an ebook or white paper with a call to action to download it for the rest of the information. So that works pretty good too. You kind of share it, bait them, and then hook them and pull them in. Because once they get into whatever it is that uh, they're listening to or reading, uh, they want to know more or they want to have the story finish. Because nobody likes an incomplete story, other than if they're bored and they just shut it off. Number 14, share an excerpt from an upcoming webinar with a call to action to get the rest of the content in the webinar. Kind of just like 13. Number 15, share your slides from a recent presentation. Number 16, share conference takeaways. I see that a lot. That works really well. I think it's really brilliant that if, uh, you know, some of these conventions, you know, not everybody can afford to necessarily pay for uh, access to the big rooms where they have breakout sessions and talk about different things. Or maybe you're just a avid networker and you just don't have time because uh, you need to meet so many people that you don't have time to go listen to several people for several hours. So uh, going back and being able to watch these videos or listen to these podcasts of uh, the replay is great because, you know, we're all accustomed to uh, TiVo or recording uh, our television shows or other things and uh, attending to them later when we have the opportunity and time allocated to. So number 17, do a roundup of last year's, last month's, last week's most popular post. Number 18, reinterpret existing content. Collect the top motivational YouTube videos for your audience, top ebooks, top webinars, or infographics. Once again, it seems that being an aggregator of sorts is, uh, you know, a way to actually get really good attention. So if you really don't can't come up with your own complete, uh, unique content, the best way to do it is to use other people's. So. I think that I've heard the saying, uh, beginners create and professionals borrow, or maybe even steal, but anyway. Uh, all right, number 19, create a slide share presentation of new statistics related to your space and share that in a blog post. Tag the, share, the slide share presentation with relevant keywords for your company to leverage SEO benefits of the platform. And number 20, ask a question on Twitter and share the results with Storyfy embedded. What's up with this Fi stuff? You know, Optify and Storyfy. Anyway, all right. Well, I've covered the first 20 of the series of 100 ideas for content creation. We will be back to cover 21 through 40. So I look forward to uh, having you come on back. And I really appreciate you tuning in. And I also would really appreciate you all uh, tweeting and uh you know, reposting and sharing this content uh, with your social network. Have a great day and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.